Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about buying Dragons of Tarkir. Is it worth it? And I know I made a booster box video a while back, but I'm just going to talk about booster packs and fat packs. And here, I, I've, I've always said that if you open a booster pack and it's $4 or if you go to Walmart, I mean, you should buy booster packs from local stores or people that you know, because that's important to support uh, local businesses and as well as the place you play Magic at, that would be kind of important as well. But um, booster packs are just fun. I don't know why people have to be, so people are saying, oh, Dragons of Tarkir doesn't have fetch lands, it doesn't have any lands, is it? It's not as valuable as a set as something like Cons of Tarkir or even Fate Reforged, and I totally agree with that. If you look at the value of uh, Dragons of Tarkir, it's not going to even be close to Cons of Tarkir when the dust settles. So yes, initially the cards will be more pricey and stuff, and Narset will be a $50 Planeswalker who won't keep her price at all. But that being said, you look at all the other cards in the set, and you look at the fact that there's no lands, even pain lands, because pain lands, if you open one of them, essentially it pays for your booster pack retail. Yikes. Um, definitely yikes, yikes, yikes on that. Um, it used to be mythic dragons could hold their value, not anymore. Um, when you look at the mythics, or you look at the dra it used to be dragons in general could hold value uh, for casual and EDH players, but not really anymore, because some of these dragons have recent dragons, so the old dragon, Scion of the Euro Dragon, all those older dragons, um, there's, there's one dragon in Conspiracy that's spiked up in price as well, it's a mythic dragon, it's like it gives you double attack, but anyway, those cards have gone up, but the card dragons in this current block are very cheap, they are extremely cheap, just go on Fate Reforged and check up any of those dragon prices, and they will surprise you, they're like 25 cents, 49 cents, for any of those dragons, and they are legendary rare dragons, and, and they're beautiful, they are gorgeous dragons to boot. So the mythic dragons in my opinion, maybe one or two of them will be playable. Narset will plummet, Sawcon, I don't know, it's triple colors, and triple colors has typically not been viable in this format. Um, even Mardu is not vi totally viable as a free color deck. So triple colors or Shawcon is not the best. Um, you have again, you have some amazing, amazing cards, but they aren't the type of cards like Abrupt Decay. They're not the on the same power level as like RTR. So RTR benefited from Shocklands and huge power level. When we got the Cons of Tarkir, we got Fetch Lands, which were in my opinion way better than Shocklands, but the power level was less. I'm not even going to talk about Journey into Nyx or Born of the Gods, all of that stuff, because that set, those sets were terrible, money-wise. I'm just only talking about money. A lot of you will leave comments and say, oh, it was a great set. It was amazing to draft. I'm only talking about the current value of those sets right now. So Dragons of Tarkir, I don't have any problems with per people. I'm going to buy a case of fat packs. I know that for positively. I know I'm positive I'm going to buy a case of fat packs because I always do, for you guys mainly, and I'm going to like open some loose booster packs at when it's you know time to release the set or whatever, and I'll probably have some good stuff on this channel very soon. But as a value, as a, hmm, I'm, should I buy this box to hold, or should I open this box, am I going to make my money back? Dragons of Tarkir, very, very not, not great value-wise, uh, mainly because it, its power level is it's fun. It's an EDH casual type of set. It's not meant to be modern changing. It's not many of the cards that I feel like will affect modern the most are at uncommon. So when you look at the Mythic Dragons, when you look at Narset, and you look at all the valuable cards in this particular set, they could easily plummet. And price, as opposed to a set that has something like Fetch Lands or Shock Lands, where you know you could hold that card forever, and that would always have some type of value to players. Again, I think it comes down to the fact that if 
you have a set which is more EDH casual friendly, it shouldn't be expensive. Like be making it expensive does not make it make it any sense. Hmm. So I love the set. I don't want to say boo hoo hoo to the set. I think the set is amazing. I just don't believe the value will be there. Um, so just buy some fat packs, buy some booster packs. I personally would tell you to stay away from buying boxes or cases just because the, I mean, I just don't see the value in having that many of, you can buy, I hate saying this, but you can buy singles and that will solve the problem if you need to make the deck for this particular set. Bye guys.